Welcome, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. I'm glad you could join me today. It's early January out here. It's a little cold out here, but nevertheless, it always feels good. You bundle up a little bit. And, uh, you know, we get viewers once in a while and uh, ask questions. And, you know, we, we always like that when they ask questions. Because then it causes us to search things out, make sure we give the right answers and, and uh, answer their questions. But anyhow, Don from Pennsylvania had asked the question, you know, how does my, what direction does my lean to greenhouse face? So that was a good question that Don had asked because, you know, I really in my past videos, I never really did discuss the orientation of the, the greenhouse. And so, as he had mentioned in our last uh, video, you know, we did cover in the lean to greenhouse with the polyethylene lean plastic. We did that January 5th. And he had mentioned about how the sun was behind us. In fact, right now it's one o'clock and the sun's like way low in the sky. Well, Keep in mind too, of course, in the summer, the sun's way up high, you know? So probably the, if it was one o'clock in the afternoon in the summer, the sun would be right above us basically, uh, versus, you know, in the, in the winter time, the sun of course is low, you know? When I built my house, for instance, uh, back in 1995, one thing I did is I took into consideration the orientation of my house. And so, you know, we built it up on a slight grade and it faces south. So. You know, our house is on, on the east-west axis. And in fact, uh, one of our past videos, we did one on how to select a site location for your vegetable organic garden. And so I would really encourage you to, to watch that video. I did discuss how my raised garden beds over there were also, how they were oriented according to the sun. And so, so anyhow, down below me here at my feet, I have a, a compass that I, laid out here to show where the uh, lean-to greenhouse is, how it's oriented with the sun. And so basically it's it's uh, facing kind of north and, and kind of east. Now with your vegetables, like for instance your greens, they don't need as much sunlight, which is nice. In fact, this year or this summer coming, we're going to do some experimenting. We're going to plant some chard and kale and even some pepper plants and tomato plants. We're going to do an experiment and plant some of them in the shade. I know you can grow the greens in the shade. They don't mind partial sun and so or partial shade. Tomato plants, you know, you want a good, the more sun the better, you know, eight, six to eight hours. But we're going to experiment with the, some greens and plant them in the shade. Also some some tomatoes that with, and peppers maybe that like a lot of sun. But so for instance, in this lean-to greenhouse, I probably get anywhere from four to six hours of sunlight in here. And my greens flourish. You know, we did an earlier, one of our earlier videos on the tail of two uh, cucumber plants where I had one cucumber plant growing in the greenhouse and the other one was outside uh, just growing under the sun. And that, uh, cucumber plant just flourished in there compared to the one outside under the sun and so but let me swing around here and uh, so this is east and this is west so we get the sun that comes up over like this now right behind me behind the camera there there's some cedars and some trees so you, I don't get the real early morning sun because that all blocks that and so Probably when the sun's around 10, 11 o'clock in the afternoon, I'll start to get sun in here. And so uh, that just goes to show you, though, how little of the sun some plants require because my Swiss chard and my kale in here, they do, they do wonderful. Not only when a groundhog gets in here and eats my plants, they don't do very well. But one of my videos I showed about how I laid some wire fencing outside the greenhouse to keep those pumpkin eaters uh, out of the greenhouse and so um, 
So anyhow, uh, yeah, this greenhouse does real well in, in, in this orientation. You know, north is that way. Here's north, and here's south to my right. And it uh, it gets early morning sun to, I would say, uh, sun at two o'clock, three o'clock, and uh, the greens do very well in, in there. So. Uh, Anyhow, I hope that uh, this video helps you answer some of your questions. And, uh, yeah, we always like it when viewers ask questions because then it uh, gives us some opportunities to create some videos and uh, just to help people out. So just want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.